Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Danelle. I am here continuing my MoYu London ABC series and we're moving on to the letter F. And the first one in this series is from the Fairy Tale Collection. And this is plate 13. And I usually don't like these big images. Well, I do. But I really like this one because I love to sew and quilt and do lots of different like needlework and stuff. So this one really suits me. I really like it. So I'm just going to pick up a couple of different things and put them down. I have a tip left over from another session. And so I'm just going to continue using that. I'm using Drunk Fairy Polish Whiteout. And this one already has two coats on it, so I'm going to go ahead and do the first layer on this one. And I know it looks super streaky. It does need two coats, and I got some fuzz in it. I'm not even, I'm not even going to sweat it. I do need a couple more tips, though, because uh, I ran out. It goes on a lot better when you do it thick. So I'm going to go ahead and let these dry. And while I do that, I am going to work on some images. <clears throat> so, oops. I do have them in white, so I thought it would be fun to maybe do these in some fun metallics. So I think I'm going to try my Queen Metallics. This is 607 Ocean Blue and 613 Hot Fuchsia. So yeah, so I'm not really going to do any reverse stamping. I'm just going to pick them up. I'm just trying to see how I do it. The little elf is so cute. All of it is super cute. I want these little buttons. Okay. okay. I need to do sticky base. Oh, that's not sticky base. I'm going to use my Orly Bonder sticky. Put it on there. And then I'm just going to quickly tap, 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 tap. If you if you tap too much, you will pick off the you will <coughs> excuse me, it will lift off some of the images. Buttons there. Oh my goodness, that's so adorable. Why do I always have to make a mess? Always, always. And then let's see what else. Um, I'm going to grab a couple other colors as well. 
I'm gonna grab 606 Cool Aqua and 610 Mighty Aphrodite. I think I'm gonna go for the Cool Aqua for this part. I'm gonna do a bunch of these scissors with the buttons. Yeah, that was a good test out. I don't need all of them, but I don't want to accidentally get any of that big chunk on. This isn't quite as opaque as the pink here. Maybe I'm trying to position it because I don't want to cover the whole bottom. I have a tiny bit of pink that transferred right there. Oh, I'm about to lift off the white. You knew it's going to stay there. Okay, and then let's see. I want it to stay very patchworky, like just random. So I'm going to pick up this zigzag stitch. And I wasn't planning on using this straight stitch, but it picked up so well, I think I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to cover up my boo-boo. Maybe this one. And then I just need to add something over here, maybe, you know what, I might do, let's do these buttons because they're slightly different. Okay, I'm still have stamps on. Okay. This pink is so pretty. I'm going to take off that little button because I don't think I'm going to have enough room. room for any of them. No, I don't want to cut the button. These Sorry, those buttons are a little too big for this one. Okay, got the stampers clean. Let's do... I got to save some lit images for the other nails, right? So I think I'm going to reuse a couple of these and just do those on the side over there just to kind of continue it. Okay. I don't need the big one, but I'm still going to have to isolate it with tape. Oops, I just messed up that little one, but hopefully these will work. One or both, we'll see. Yeah, that'll work. Oops, almost messed that up. Yes, that's so cute. 
All right. <coughs> Let me get my second layer on here so that it's dry in while I'm picking up. I almost didn't get this plate because I was like, uh, I don't know, but I wasn't sure about it. But now that I'm actually using it, I really like it. It's adorable. Like some of this would be really nice like um, reverse stamped. Let's get the other one. I don't know what this is going to look like picked up so let's see. Okay, I have an alarm set and <laughs> it went off so it stopped my um, video. I'm just trying to see what I want. I don't think I like that as a whole. So I'm going to redo it. Man, this plate is like has so much etching on it. I'm trying to. Okay, I didn't like the pieces over here that got picked up, so I think I'm gonna go like here to get a little bit of both of this. That might not have been enough polish, or maybe it was. Mm, that's much better. It doesn't really matter which way it goes. Just trying to get the, I'm trying to maximize my space. Oh my goodness, I didn't put a sticky face down, but it's stuck. All right, it's missing a little bit on the edges. But that's a okay because we can just kind of pop some random stuff in there because it's it's a bit of a collage anyway. I kind of need. It's like, as I'm picking it up, I'm noticing more details. Like this is more plaid looking and this is more block looking. I would almost call that, um, it almost looks like an Irish chain type block. trying to like add that right there. I didn't line that up perfectly, but it'll do. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I really like these plates. I've picked up my sticky stamper stations and unfortunately I don't remember where I picked them up to. Oopsie. Hmm. 
Okay. The little elf is adorable, but we're not doing that today because he needs some uh, reverse stamping. I'm trying to see if the top, like if I can fit some of the zipper on here. I think I'm going to give it a go. Which color haven't I used? I think I'm going to go with the purple because there's so much pink and the aqua is a little too um, light, I feel. Oh my god, that's so adorable. I don't even know if the stitches, the side top stitching of the zipper will get on there. But let's see. Oh, I need a sticky base because, oh my god. Okay. Sticky base. That's not sticky base. I'm trying to find a. I should be using a bigger piece, but I'm trying to like use every scrap I can. Okay. Let's see if this is gonna work. Oh, that's so cute. It's off centered. But we have a crooked zipper, but that's okay. That is okay. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. All right, I'm going to move some stuff out of the way. And let's go ahead and get a. Much free top coat on. Trying to make sure I got it all around. I don't know why I just did that second layer that thick. I just needed a little bit for the side. So now it's going to take forever to fully dry, probably. And this is one that makes me wish I'd have done all five nails. And I mean, I still can, but. Zipper, some quilting patchwork, and then our little sewing notion, some scissors, buttons, straight stitch, zigzag stitch, all of the things that are so great about sewing. There's my tape. I was like, I knew I took out a piece of tape, but then it stuck to the table. And it's clear, so it's obvious that they can see that. A plate like this, you can just 
keep going and going and going and every time pick up something a little different. It's like shredding my cotton. Being dirty like that. Okay. That's all cleaned up. All right, let's go ahead and add our SE gel setter top coat. Ready. Here we go. Our little fairy tale nails. Sewing notions, quilting, zippers, all the lovely sewing things. All right. Until next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.